every symposium that we've run over the last, um, well, since 2002, there's been a very strong call from delegates to say, what about time-honoured knowledge? What about the role of culturally specific approaches and um, other ways of thinking about suicide prevention that can support this work? Where is it? It's not being presented here. And the most important reason is that we've got such disproportionate rates still for Māori. So while we're seeing the rates coming down right across the population, it's not coming down in the same way for Māori. I think that we would have a very low suicide rate now if we saw the clinical medical model um, being the answer to everything. But we haven't, so we know that there's still some questions. So we're looking at what, what do we need to fill in the gaps? And we need to listen to each other to do that. So people from mainstream have come here to learn about how they can start to approach this work better, how they can get, dip their toes into the water and build relationships with local mana whenua to support their work. And in the same way, um, we've had many people who provide services to Māori and for Māori on behalf of Māori um, bring their skills and knowledge to say how can we fit this, these two things in together. We're trying to encourage people to, to, to come away from this symposium thinking actually evaluation isn't too hard, it's not scary, it's not monitoring, it's actually saying we know what we do works we're going to find a way to record it and then we're going to promote it to say this is how people can work with this population group because we know it works.